previously I went there to find out uh, how much is the price the exchange rate and also what are the documents needed so apart from the credit card debit card new global card and forex card we also need some amount that is in cash thousand pounds is equal to one lakh indian currency inr okay Currency GBP Great Britain Pound Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Namano Prayanam. So you all know I am Manohar doing videos on study in UK and also my higher transplantation journey and in future I will be doing UK traveling vlogs. So if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe my channel Namano Prayanam. Okay, and also you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram as well. So as you have seen the title, we are going to talk about exchange. So you all know I am going to UK, especially London, to study my Masters in Business Analytics at Northumbria University. I am going so I am going to London on twenty sixth August morning. By the time I am recording this video, I only have three days left. So after going there, we need uh, money to survive, right? So initially, we need some pounds in cash until we open any bank account in UK or even before transacting online through ATM card, credit cards or even New York Global card. So we need to convert uh, Indian rupees INR to Great Britain pound that is GBP. So previously, I went to Thomas Cook. <laughs> And it's RBI. RBI is the Major Bank of India. And uh, it's the Ravindra Bharati. It's the Thomas Cook. Here it's the Thomas Cook. Backstage. Thomas Cook show, current <laughs> current exchange also. So, that is Thomas Cook current exchange also. Our pound ninety six hundred and and four hundred charges for another. Inka tis kolle do. Inka vere ekora onna ekar bakna. Chala cost shift naal ninety nine jeptu naal. Haan amma kudar. Okay. Inka tis kolle do. Tis kona jeptu atla process rendi atla cheyale ani. Okay. So I went to different foreign exchange offices including Thomas Cook and also other private uh, foreign exchange brokers. So after going through them, I found that Thomas Cook is, so after going through all of them, I found that Thomas Cook is somewhat better because it is a genuine uh, company and also the rate they are giving is better in the industry. Okay. So previously I went there to find out uh, how much is the price the exchange rate and also what are the documents needed and all of that so they need passport a pan card and the university offer letter and also the visa that is the vignetta we are getting in the passport so they need these four uh, documents to process our uh, funds that is to exchange the currency from INR to GBP so today I went there so there's a little bit rush many people are coming there like uh, those who want to exchange Canadian dollars Australian dollars or even the USD that is US dollars so I went there and I uh, have submitted the documents so within 10 minutes they have given me the pounds I will show you how the pounds look like so you can pay through uh, cash also or you can pay through debit card credit card net banking whatever it may be I have paid through credit card because I don't have funds now so I'm using my credit card and uh, I exchanged around thousand pounds that is thousand gbp which is around ninety eight thousand to one lakh in india currently the market rate is around uh, 95 to 96 inr per gbp but uh, they do business right so they also they also need profit right so they sell us uh, at 96.5 uh, or something so 97 at uh, 
so around they sold me at 97 rupees per 1 gbp and also as i'm using credit card they charged me 1.5 percent uh, charges so overall including to exchange my 1000 gbp i, I paid 98000 rupees okay because i have paid through credit card if you are paying by cash or debit card you can like uh, buy at less price also 15 to 1500 to 2000 rupees difference okay so that is how i purchased and uh, so why do we need cash while going to uk you can also take forex card neo card previously i have made a video on neo card right you can see it here so we can take neo card also we can add we can add amount in that and we can use that card internationally everywhere sometimes even in india or abroad for a few expenses we require only cash right sometimes they don't accept any card or any some suppose if you don't have online transactions if you don't have any mobile data or internet available we need cash anyhow so so that's why you need to take at least 500 to 1000 pounds or dollars whatever it may be based on your currency based on your country you're going so i have taken so i have decided to take a thousand pounds and they have given all the thousand pounds in 20 denomination that is 20 denomination uh, pound notes they said 50 denomination is over so i have to take all 20 denomination so i have taken all the 20 denomination like 20 into 50 that is thousand pounds so the currency is a little bit different the material is different i will show you so so this is the currency you can see right you can see right uh elizabeth uh, queen elizabeth this said and also here uh, we have some one name and back side we have Joseph Mallard William Turner and so both are there in this you can see there is a transparent here and here also and everywhere it is mentioned 2020 and it is given by Bank of England 20 pounds uh, what else Hmm. so this is the note so i'll show you once again this is the note we are getting 20 denomination so i have 50 of them 20 into 50 you can see all these are pounds these are pounds <laughs> habibi we are rich now so these are uh, so these 50 are 1 lakh in Indian rupees. So these 50, 15 to 20 thousand pounds is equal to 1 lakh Indian currency, INR, okay. So it will be useful for us uh, when we go to UK or London. We can utilize it, right? We can pay our bills, rent, or if you want to buy any groceries initially. So once we reach there, we can use uh, POS like uh, debit card, credit card while buying at the supermarkets or any other uh, places. But the currency, the cash will be useful. And also recently they have told like, uh, I, have, I have read somewhere or some people sent me in groups uh, like saying UPI transactions are accepted in UK also. Hopefully. It will start soon and uh, we can easily transfer from our Google Pay, Phone Pay, all this, uh, okay, to UK also. Hopefully, it will get soon. So, once it is into practical approach, I will uh, share another video on that, definitely. Okay, so this is the amount, 1000 pounds. Uh, little bit heavy also, these are like plastic notes, unlike our Indian currency and uh, i have shown it to my parents also they are like happy excited my mom kept uh, money in front of god like uh, in puja room and uh, yeah only two days left for me 
today is 23 so 24 and 25 only two days left for me my flight is on 26th morning hopefully i will have a good journey traveling experience and also hope to make uh, vlogs from there on like how i traveled to uk and how was my fl flight journey and my immigration journey and after that let us see how it goes my like namano prayanam so i will end this video here hopefully you like it so if you want to exchange i prefer thomas cook you can also go for other uh, agents also the currency exchange uh, offices so it's up to you i am sharing my experience so in any of your videos i am not forcing you to anyone to go there itself like wherever i am going i am sharing my experience like you can compare it right i am going to i am going here so if you are going any other place you can comment in the comment section definitely it will be useful for other students also and other people who are going to uk okay so that's it so thank you so much for your love and support keep supporting me i will do more vlogs and uh, yeah that's it thank you so much